So this is the corner of Cortez Road and Golf Boulevard. It's just unbelievable how much sand is here. You can't even really comprehend it unless you see it in person. There's the old sidewalk. It's at least two and a half, three feet of sand. Look at this. Uh, I'll walk down there later, but it's just as far as you can see, a total mess. One of the most beautiful places on the planet. Destroyed. Pipes leaking inside. Man, somebody just cut that off. That's a, that's a water heater that's leaking. much heavy equipment as you can imagine down here. I don't know if you noticed, but that whole building is leaning. Not only the front porch, but the whole building is, is leaning. There must have been so much water moving down here. Bring in all this sand from the beach. They had a project the last few years to bring in a bunch of sand to fortify the beaches down here. So I wonder if a lot of that wound up just right out over here. They were pumping, pumping sand from way out. So anyway, let's keep going. Now well, here's the beach house. From the front, it looks like they just have a lot of sand and cleanup to do. I'm sure they got a lot of water inside though. So this is Third Street North and Gulf, oh, I'm sorry, Gulf Drive. Uh, I'll walk back here because, man, it looks like it just ran through here. This whole building just came down. It used to look like that one. Uh, still a lot of sitting water around here. You gotta be really careful of where you step. Man. So that house has been under construction for a while. It seems like it fared well. So that's something to be said for some of the new hurricane coats that are down here built way up high. Almost pizza. Eaten there many times. They just got hammered. I'll walk over to uh, the beach house in a minute. Just, it's unbelievable how much, I mean the front doors, if you look at it. That's why they don't want people down here, I guess, because just roll right in there. This is the old public parking for the beach house. Uh, all the barriers, everything are just gone. It's crazy. Still rough surf out here. The wind is not too bad, but definitely a breeze. Here's the old car charger that we used to use. See, this is why you gotta be careful. You see all these electrical wires and stuff around. Wow, this is nuts. All these doors and everything. Oh, wow. It even moved all these rocks up here. These decks are all bowed. This is gonna take them forever to rebuild this. I mean, I can't believe it moved rocks that size. Holy cow. Such a beautiful place. Just devastated. I cannot believe it. I used to 
it right here. Not anymore. Well, lots of alcohol. Very sad. So you can see there was water running through here and out. So obviously there's a lot of damage inside, but you can't really see much in there. I don't know if you can see anything. It actually doesn't look too bad from what I can tell, but I hope they do okay and can restore this pretty quickly. But it's going to be a lot of work. Just everything is all over the place. All right, moving on. This almost kind of reminds me of when you're on one of the northern states and they plow the roads and pile all the snow up on the sides of the road. It feels exactly the same way. So there's the ice cream shop and uh, Wilder's slice of AMI. Little gift shop there. This is the Gulf View building. Seems like they did okay. Um, a lot of cleanup, a lot of pavement just lifted up and washed away and moved around, but. It's okay. Bridge Street Bistro here. So everything's closed up so you can't really see anything from this side. Hopefully they did okay. This pool here. Not too awful. I should be able to clean that one up. How you doing? This stuff just kind of floated through here. Look at this. Crazy. You can see how high the water was. Looks like it's right about to there. So they had all these canvas hurricane protection on here, which usually helps pretty good with the wind, but not with flooding. All right, so there's the daiquiri deck. I'll try and, well, I'll walk down this way first. So you got the Bridge Street Bazaar and the daiquiri deck up top. They removed a lot of sand from, uh, from Bridge Street here, uh, but just to give you an idea, I mean, you can see how high the water was. Uh, that photo booth is shot. This is one of the reasons why it's gonna be a while before they get electric going. That thing was under three feet of water, the transformer. And uh, it is so slippery here. So this is the mini golf place down on Bridge Street. They had, there you go, four feet of water probably. So, ice cream, fudge place. They attempted the sandbag. Oh, what a mess. Uh, so sorry for them. My goodness. People are just starting to get back here to assess the damage. These things are supposed to do a, a, an amazing job. Um, I can't see over it very well, but it looks like uh, it did help. So, anyway, we can see at least three feet. There, I guess that's the owner of. So Bamboo Island, one of our favorite restaurants. Uh, so they're upstairs, so hopefully they're okay. This is the Blue Marlin. Again, they had significant flooding and it's just a mess back here. What a shame. Uh, wow. What a significant cleanup effort this is gonna be. Not only the repairs, but just cleaning up before you can even begin repairing. 
it's just overwhelming to look at it all. This is the French restaurant. I think it's called the Creperie. Uh, man. Just, just the things that just floated around, just distributed all over. And you guys got your hands full. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you fared okay. A lot of how, how much water did you get in there? Uh, water level was in here. Yeah. Man. Ay ay ay. Cover. How you doing? How you doing? You're not drinking a beer? No, it's all warm. <laughs> At this point. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just cannot believe it. That's a really old building there, same with that one. What is it about those old buildings that they seem to always survive? But that one, this time here, I don't know if you can tell, but the roof is severely bowed across there. I sat right there many times, had a drink, relaxed by the water, listening to music. It's gonna be a while before that happens again. It's called the Bridge Tender Inn. So far up in here, they seem to have fared better over here. A lot of cleanup, but uh, I'm not seeing big time devastation on this side. This is obviously not the beach side, but uh, still, I anticipated it to be much worse, honestly. Somebody left their motorcycle here. I don't think they're gonna wanna see what that looks like when they get back. So here's the pier. So obviously the water was up this high, which is staggering. Uh, I mean, I've got to be, that's got to be 10 feet, eight to 10 feet. Somebody lost the flip flop. So this, uh, doesn't look too bad. Like I said, a lot of cleanup. Actually looks pretty good in there. Now I did hear about this floating dock. It floated up too high and got above its moorings or pilings and uh, so there's some repair that needs to happen there and some boats that are down. Man, look at this pier. All of the, uh, there's some water. Uh, so I guess the water is still on down here because there's water pressure in that line. Still rocking around pretty good because everything's no longer level with the water.
Mother Nature can do. I mean, it just moved this stuff around like nothing. I mean, how does, how does a stump like that wind up in that? So, the sad part is you got a couple of boats here that are not going to make it in. Man, you should smell the gasoline smell here. It's very strong. Those boats need to be uh, pumped out or something, get them floating, so uh, it's not a bigger problem. There's just so much work for everybody to do. It's like, what do you do first? That's created quite a bit, uh, big uh, slick on the uh, top of the water. Got stuff floating out there. I don't know how those boats survived, but they did. A few brave boaters that have been out there. There's so much stuff floating in the water, you have to be so careful. You can't go very fast just asking for a problem. I don't know if you can hear that hissing sound, but that's uh, a lot of the water lines that bring water out here. They're all leaking. Surprised that that water is still on. Well, here's the end of the pier. Got a top for a hot tub here. Missing boards. Very dangerous to walk out here recommended. Pigeons don't know what to do. Braden Beach Pier. Been here since 1921. So at high tide, I think this area, this this platform part of the dock, is probably about four and a half or five feet above the water level. So this was a significant surge. I mean, pe people's furniture from their house wound up here. Anything that'll float is here. the Anna Maria Oyster Bar. Everything out here seemed, uh, seemed to do better than a lot of the places around here. There you go. Looks okay inside. That might be one of the bright spots of this whole thing. bar. No, they're not open seven days a week. down here I'm sure there's probably been some ugly stories of people getting hurt or died so this is actually the Bridgeport building and they were just having a bunch of work done to reface the building and uh, uh, repair stucco and a lot of the uh, balconies and stuff were in need of repair while they were in the middle of it they get hit with this so who knows where that building will wind up there's a bunch of pointing fingers as to who's responsible for what at this point sad so 
these buildings here, I don't know if you can tell, but it's literally three feet tall. Um, there's so much sand back in here. I don't know how they're even gonna get it out of here without, uh, it's such a project. want to think about what insurance in Florida is going to start looking like uh, after this because this, this has impact, impacted so many areas. It looks like one of the business owners has you know, tried to get out their business. I think this is really the first time people are being, uh, being allowed to come down here. So this is the first time many people have seen much of this. I mean, the Wiki Cantina, uh, look at this one window, just blown out. Man, crazy. Doesn't look too bad overall. I think they fared pretty well, all things considered. Um, they're just airing it out, it smells. All these buildings have a smell in them right now, it's kind of sad. Um, Another one of the places I love to go to. I can't even, I don't even know how I'm gonna get over there. Uh, this is the green turtle, shell and gifts. It's uh, gonna need work there, but it doesn't look as bad as a lot of the others. All right, here's what we're dealing with. Whew. This whole building is leaning this way. Probably not even safe. If you look at some of the old pilings, I guess they put some kind of Interesting, I've never seen that before. I'm not gonna stand underneath that because that doesn't feel safe. Man, it's just unbelievable. Hey, all done. What a crazy mess. Sad. This part of the beach looks actually pretty good. They were doing some construction over here. Obviously, a lot of this stuff fell down. Uh, let's see if I can cut across there some Queens Gate Resort the sand on both sides of the street five feet easily I don't know if I'm gonna make it down to runaway bay I don't think it's possible I don't think I can walk down there at the moment Two Teslas in the driveway there.
how deep that is. He's gonna scoop some. Well, now you know why you can't get on the island. There's just can't drive anywhere. You're not going to be able to get through. There's sand and workers trying to get their job done down here. And I'm going to walk down a little bit farther and see if I can get to uh, Runaway Bay. But uh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Give it a try. Smokehouse. I think this is as far as I'm going to make it. I'm going to turn around for today. You can see it's up three and a half, four feet. And uh, owners are there just trying to figure out what to do. Wait, I think I did make it to Runaway Bay. Just when I thought I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> 